to our service of worship here at St. John's Anglican Church in Bowmanville. We are delighted that you are here to worship with us. Before we begin our regular service today, we give thanks for the people in our congregation who have knitted prayer squares and prayer shawls and prayer lapgans, and we will do a blessing for those before they are given to people who could use a little extra comfort and assurance of God's presence. As you carry these prayer squares and are enfolded with these prayer shawls, may you be surrounded by God's love. May he walk before you to guide you beside you to give you courage, behind you to keep you safe, beneath you to give you strength, above you for blessing, within you to give you his peace. Amen. Blessed are you, O Christ, Son of God. You were before time began and came into the world to save us. Blessed are you, Son of Righteousness. You shine with the Father's love and illumine the whole universe. Blessed are you, Son of Mary. Born a child, you share our humanity. Let heaven and earth shout their praise. With all the voices of heaven, we celebrate the coming of our Savior. Let heaven and earth shout their praise. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Who brings 
gives princes to naught and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth. When he blows upon them and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like stubble, to whom then will you compare me? Or who is my equal? says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their hosts and numbers them, calling them all by name, because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hear what the Spirit is saying to us now. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After Jesus and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew, James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve him. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered round the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place. And there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We welcome our guest preacher today, who is Will Postma from the Primates Fund for World Relief and Development. Hello, and thank you for inviting me to share a message from PWRDF with your parish. It's a pleasure to be with St. John's Anglican Church in Bowmanville today. Thank you for your generous, encouraging gifts to PWRDF. Your prayers week after week for the work of our partners are so important and greatly appreciated. Lord, give me strength. Perhaps some of you have said these words before, as have I, asking God for strength while standing in a long grocery store line, while navigating new visiting rules at long-term care homes, while supporting our kids at school. Many of us have experienced financial uncertainty, illness, or even the death of a loved one due to COVID-19. Lord, give me strength. Lord, give us strength. When churches across the country closed to public worship, we all had to pivot, including those in the PWRDF office. Churches discovered new ways of doing church, and suddenly prayer was the most Googled search term on the internet. One Sunday morning in May, Zoom crashed and online church services were to blame. That's right, we broke the internet. All the while, PWRDF was in constant contact with our partners in the world's most vulnerable communities. Take for instance, Burundi, ranked as one of the poorest countries in the world. The community response there was one of empathy for the rest of the world. We hear it's bad over there, said one of the local teachers. In all the world, people are dying, but you know, this will pass. Now this response wasn't waving away our concerns, just the opposite. It was a response born from the experience of someone who deals with the threat of food insecurity, malaria, and many other deadly diseases that are everyday occurrences. I have been encouraged by the faith and trust of so many in the Global South. As Jesus tells us in the Sermon on the Mount, do not worry about your life. Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? Jesus tells us to be anxious for nothing. It is this very definition of faith that time and again we are all asked to call on to give us strength. For more than 60 years, PWRDF has been responding on behalf of Anglicans to communities in need. Many of our programs train people in new skills. Our local partners teach people how to adapt their farming practices to climate change, how to use new medical equipment, how to improve the nutrition of their family, how to set up a loan cooperative, 
how to advocate for their rights. But in truth, there are many things to be learned from our colleagues and the people living in their communities. They can teach us about resilience. Where there are natural disasters and destruction, they teach us how to start over. And where people do not know where their next meal is coming from, they teach us how to share resources. Where there is death, they teach us that life goes on and they show us that the human spirit truly is indomitable. PWRDF focuses on this kind of community development when communities become stronger together and make choices that are good for everyone. Through your support, we can bring resources and training, further adding to the community's strength and resilience in the face of the next challenge. Here are a few examples. In August 2019, Hurricane Dorian hit several islands of the Bahamas with winds that reached 295 kilometers per hour. 70,000 people were left homeless and many churches in the Bahamas were called on to provide emergency shelter and supplies to people in need. Canadians donated more than $200,000 to PWRDF to support the Caribbean churches as they responded to the recovery. And even now, a year later, this work is continuing. Preparing for a crisis makes people stronger. PWRDF partners in the Episcopal Church of Cuba participated in a training workshop called Pastors and Disasters. Though it was designed for climate emergencies, church leaders were able to put it to the test when the pandemic hit. In Bangladesh, our longtime partner Ubenig is a model of resilience. PWRDF over the years has supported shoreline replanting of mangroves to reduce erosion and build resilience to climate-related disaster. Past programs have supported creation of seed banks to preserve native plant varieties so that they are better prepared to withstand losses due to industrial farming, extreme weather and natural disasters, including the pandemic. Ubenig received a small grant from PWRDF to support many of the day laborers suddenly without work and without means to buy food. But because the community had worked together, they had the strength to help each other. I am so proud of the four years that PWRDF has invested in Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, and Mozambique, working alongside partners in our All Mothers and Children Count program. Through training and education, new equipment and improved access to health care, people are stronger. They improve their nutrition, their food security, and their overall health, and they are now more resilient to illness and loss of income. This program was funded by PWRDF donors and a six to one match from the Government of Canada. And I'm pleased to note that the funding match is still in effect as we continue to support these partners through COVID-19. Our partners are responding to the challenges and we are glad to be able to add to their efforts by providing personal protective equipment, soap and clean water and increasing awareness about the coronavirus. Our partners are determined to not let the pandemic reverse the gains that have been made in these past four years of our partnership together. Resilience is not a foreign concept in the Bible either. It is brimming with stories of people responding to oppression or hunger through their faith in God. Joseph used his God-given skills to interpret dreams and rise from despair. Miriam devised a scheme to protect her baby brother Moses. And Esther used her powers of persuasion to stop the slaughter of her people. Job lost everything and was in agony and despair, but his faith in God was unshakable. Elizabeth persisted that her son be named John in order to fulfill the message of the angel. And Paul endured punishment and torture for the sake of spreading the message of Christ. Jesus asks us, in fact, he commands us to love our neighbor. And through this act of togetherness, we are all stronger and more resilient. Jesus wants us to stay together and draw strength from one another. Just as the shepherd looks without ceasing for that one lost sheep, we must not leave anyone behind. For us at PWRDF, we are called to do our best with the prayers and gifts of Canadian Anglicans to support our partners as they care for the most vulnerable. And for you who are supporters and donors, know that these prayers and gifts go a long ways to help church leaders in the Bahamas and Cuba, community members in Bangladesh, medical staff and volunteers in Burundi, 
and so many more. Your support lets them know you are with them and not forgotten. In this difficult pandemic time, PWRDF started gathering weekly on Zoom to be a source of strength and inspiration to our volunteers looking to come together. Using words suggested from this online parish, our public engagement program coordinator, Suzanne Rumsey, wrote this prayer that I would like to share with you now. Let us pray. God of hope, in an ever more connected world, you call us together in acts of caring, and you call us to uphold the dignity of every human being by transforming structures that deny that dignity. Child of peace, you invite us into friendship with you, you who are present in the vulnerable and marginalized communities in Canada and throughout the world. You challenge us to recommit and rededicate ourselves to ensuring their agency and to making the whole world safe. Spirit of love, you speak to us through the smiling faces of our partners, whose generosity of reflective, focused, and mindful caring calls forth our own generosity as we share food, share health, and share our lives. God, child, spirit, in this pandemic time, hold us, the people and partners of PWRDF, in your loving embrace, and walk with us as we continue on the journey towards a truly just, healthy, and peaceful world. Amen.
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. especially our diocesan bishop, Andrew, our area bishop, Rosilla, and our clergy, Lucia, Susie, Shirley, and Karen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the Anglican Bible of Prayer for the Anglican Church of Burundi and the diocesan cycle of prayer for the Holland Dean. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of St. John's, as we seek to know Jesus and make him known, for the whole people of God, that each one may be a true and faithful servant of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those drawing near to the light of faith, that the Lord will bring them to true knowledge of himself, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families and friends, that the Lord will give them joy and satisfaction in all they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our hearts, and all those who are lonely, sick, hungry, persecuted, or ignored, that the Lord will comfort them and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the lives of those who have gone before us, remembering especially Carly McDonald. And we pray for all those who grieve for them, including Carly's daughter, Susan. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, that the Lord will help us to contribute to its true growth and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole human family, that we may live together in justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those celebrating birthdays this week. Kelly Cameron, Tony Day, and Hugh Pierce. Watch over your children, Kelly, Tony, and Hugh. O Lord, as their days increase, bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts, may your peace, which surpasses understanding, abide all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, Lord, for our church community at St. John's and for its ministries. We thank you for all those gifts who, to our church, make these ministries possible. Amen.
Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace enable us to do his will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases him through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever.